Hello everyone! Today I would like to share with you a project called Recycled Milk Jug Watering Can. I think it is very important to repurpose items that you would probably just throw into the trash. So we are doing a recycle project today and this project was taken from the Farmer's Almanac. They have a lot of useful tips and ideas in there. So what you will need material-wise is you will need any size milk jug, orange juice jug, um, I have a salsa jug here, anything that has a handle on it and a lid that you can unscrew and screw back on when you have water in it, okay? I use this large one um, earlier and uh, I just kind of put my own bling on it but anyway it gets really heavy so for the younger kids you may want to go with maybe this half gallon or quart size makes it a little easier for them to handle you will also need a drill if you don't have a drill hammer and nail a cutting board, some permanent markers, some stickers if you would like, construction paper, or you can use the Missouri Conservationist or any magazine that has some lovely pictures in it. There's always colorful things in the Missouri Conservationist to cut out and make projects out of. And I pulled some of our scrapbooking items out. This is butterflies that I cut out out of scrap material we use for our scrapbook. The garden part of our scrapbook works really well. Okay, the first thing that you will need to do, drink the milk of course, but you will need to take your soap, dish soap, and a little bit of warm water, put it into your jug, and shake it up really, really, really good. You wanna get all of that milk or juice or whatever jug you're using out of it because you sure don't want it to spoil and have it be really stinky later on. Okay, so go ahead and pour your milk out, rinse it really, really good. And the next step is we're gonna drill some holes into the top of our milk jug. And I'm gonna use my Dremel you can use a regular grip drill if you don't have this. Make sure you have it secure on your cutting board and please use parent supervision or older adult supervision when doing this. Grandma and grandpa, older brother and sister. I'm gonna show you how it's done with some the nail and hammer. You want at least six holes in the top of your lid. Now if you don't have a drill and you don't have a hammer but you can find a nail, I found this out this morning, and you're strong enough, you can just push the nail through the lid, make sure it's secure, it's not gonna slip away. Take your thumb and just push it in, all the way in, because you want a nice size hole for the water to come out of. Pretty simple. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put some water hole or some air holes sorry air holes into our handle the reason we do air holes is because the water will not flow as well to the holes at the top of your lid if you don't have some air helping it push its way up there so we're going to put some air holes in the handle make sure it's secure against you don't hit your fingers and just put an air hole in it. Now, if this was a little quart size, I probably would just put one hole 
but since this is a half gallon size or your big gallon size, I'm going to put two air holes. Okay? Now you have your air holes. You have the holes on your lid. That's for the water to flow out. The next thing that we're going to do is put some embellishments on it. Make it pretty. So I have chosen a blue butterfly for mine and some glue. This glue goes on purple, but it dries clear. I don't know why it does that. That might be an inter interesting project for later on. Always put your lid back on. You don't want it drying out. I'm going to find a spot on here. Whoops. To put our butterfly. Rub it all really good. Make sure it's sticking. Okay, now he needs some antennas. Let's just draw some antennas. Needs to know where he's going, right? What flower is best to choose from. Okay, now it's some antennas. So, I think I'm going to put some stickers that are flowers. Because we all know that Butterflies are good pollinators for our garden. So we're going to have him going up and looking for these flowers. There's another one. Like I said, do whatever you want, however you want to decorate this. It is your water can. You make it like you want. Here's a pretty purple and orange one. Put over here. Now, if you don't have stickers, of course, you can draw your own flowers. Let's see. Just going to color it in a little bit. Of course, flowers need some stems and leaves, don't they? Put some leaves. Some grass down here. Oops, we had a sticker come off. And then I'm going to put my name on my watering can. Debbie's. So now, let's see if it's going to work for us. And I'm sure my fern is more than happy to receive some water. Make sure that your lid is on really secure. Screw them tight. And there you go. Can you see it? So now you are ready with your own recycled milk jug water can to go out and help water those flowers or plants. I hope you've enjoyed this video and we will see you soon with more videos. Take care, stay healthy, and we'll see you later. Bye!